Greetings gamers, welcome to another LaserCorn channel video. It is time once again to talk about everyone's least favorite topic, Defy Media. You know them, you hate them, and they owe me a f ton of money, so let's jump right back into it because recently people have been talking about them. MatPat did the video about them, Smoshcast talked a little bit about their situation with Defy Media, but you know, there's been one thing missing from these videos. See if you can catch it. See if you can catch the one thing that's not quite there. The leaders of Defy, you know, I don't want to say names, but they fired everyone and then didn't talk face to face with anyone, didn't, didn't, didn't show mm -hmm. up. Did you catch it? Names. No one ever names any names. And why not? Because I mean, look, you could go to the Defy Media Twitter, you could do that, and you could kind of shout into the void, but no one's there. Even when there was someone there, it wasn't an executive, it wasn't a hotshot, it was a social media person. If only we knew the name of a higher up, someone who was like an executive, or maybe even the president. Wait a second, I do know someone like that. President of Defy Media, Keith Richmond. And you know, quick note at this point, uh, before we go any further, I am actually running this entire video by a lawyer because I don't want to get sued. Actually, more accurately, I don't want to get sued and lose. So I'm running it by a lawyer, and so I apologize ahead of time if anything gets uh, redacted or if any disclaimers pop on screen. Uh, but you know, just want to be on the safe side. All right, let's talk some more about Keith Richmond. So how long was Keith Richmond with Defy Media? Well, as many of you know, Defy Media was formed when Alloy merged with Break. And look here, a quick Google search reveals that Keith Richmond is actually listed as the founder of Break Media. So wow, since the very inception of Defy Media, he's been around making those top level executive decisions that led Defy to where it is today, a smoldering pile of ruin. Now I wonder, are there any other companies that should know about Keith's exemplary performance over at Defy Media? I mean, is there anyone? Oh, hey, wait, look at this. I'm seeing something right now. It looks like it looks like he's on the board of directors at Grubhub. Well, congratulations. Look at this, he's got a little blurb and everything. Okay, look, it says here he's been on the board of directors at Grubhub since 2016. It even acknowledges that he was president of Defy Media up until 2018. Weirdly, nothing about what happened after 2018 about the phenomenal crashing and burning of the company. No mention of the creators that didn't get the money that was owed to them by their contracts under the Defy MCN. Now I wonder, I wonder, did Grubhub intentionally omit this stuff from Keith's little blurb here? Or maybe, maybe they just didn't know about it. Is there any way for me as a concerned Grubhub user to maybe get in contact with them and tell them about the fate of Defy Media after 2018? Oh, of course there is. I mean, they're on Twitter. They're on Twitter, at Grubhub. We'll put it on screen here and we'll leave a link in the description so I or anyone out there could get in touch with them and maybe let them know uh, some more details about who's on their board of directors. Because honestly, right now, I'm thinking of switching to Postmates. And actually, while we're on Twitter, why don't we go ahead and why don't we look up Keith Richmond's account too? Because I have some questions for him. Questions like, how you doing, buddy? And also, where the f All right, so we'll just fire off some tweets here and, oh, what's this? Keith Richmond has blocked me. He's blocked me on Twitter. What are you thinking, you dumb <laughs> Don't you know I could just make another account? Look, here's all your tweets. I can see all of your tweets. Blocking me did nothing, you worthless llamas taint. And what the is up with this cartoon drawing of you? Did you actually commission someone to do this? Did you pay someone to draw your face that punchable? Or did you just run your face through some sh cartoon generator. You know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to tweet Keith Richmond from a new account I just made because he blocked me and I'm going to respect that. He obviously doesn't want to communicate with me, but you know, he didn't block all you out there. So if you have questions about what happened to Defy Media, what happened to the brands you love, maybe a good person to tweet would be at Keith Richmond. I'll pop his name on the screen here and we'll have it as a link in the description just so you can easily click on it. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to field all of your questions, really engage with him, interact, I'm sure he'll love that. And you know what really bothers me is that according to Matt Pat's video, the amount of money owed creators in Defy's MCN is like $1.7 million. And we know that Defy, or the bank that owned Defy, sold Smosh and Smosh Games to Mythical because they've announced that and all that, that's public knowledge and everything. And so my big question is, is any of the money from that sale or the other sales of Defy Media Properties, they didn't just own Smosh and Smosh Games, is any of that going to go to reimburse the people in the Defy Media MCN? Or is it going somewhere else? Because that money could go to another place. It could go to say, a shell super shady you scumbags this feels good this feels good talking to you all out there and getting a lot of this off my chest i almost wish we had more more material but to be honest with you 
I didn't get to know a lot of the executives very well. They didn't visit us in our little roped off creator section very often. If only there was some way to kind of compile a list of who they were. But you know, they did used to have something like this. It was on the Defy Media Who We Are page. But weirdly, weirdly that got taken down. That got taken down because you know, you can erase stuff from the internet. Well, oh, but can you though? Isn't there something called like the Wayback Machine? Let me just hang on. I think we're seeing a cutscene here. And yes, yes, I can go back and look at what that page would have looked like and look at all these Defy Media executives. Man, we could do some deep dives into these other people too if we really wanted. Man, this is exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I'll see you all next time. I'm so, so angry.